Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module five, lesson five. I'm gonna start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can use a formula to find the volume of a right rectangular prism. And the learning objective is to use a formula to find the volume of a right rectangular prism. Prior learning from third grade, students expressed areas in square units such as square meters, square inches, and square feet. From fourth grade, students applied the area formula for a rectangle. All right, so jumping into the lesson on page 113, on the step it out question number one, it says, Jeannie buys the fish tank shown. For A, you know that the volume of a rectangular prism can be expressed as the product of its length, width, and height. Write a formula to model the volume of a right rectangular prism. So what it's looking for here is the letters. What letters in the formula can we write um, that make up the formula itself? So what that's gonna look like here is V is for volume, and remember it said the product, which is multiplication, of its length, width, and height. So we're going to take the first letter of each of those words, so length, and we're going to multiply them together. Length times width times height. So that is a general formula for a rectangular prism. Okay, now in B, we're going to apply it to this problem. So use the formula to write an equation for the volume of the tank. Now we're talking specifically for this problem. So we're still looking for the volume here, so we're going to keep our V, the length on how long it is here is 13. The width, how wide it is here, is 6. And how tall it is, that's the height is eight. Okay, so for C, multiply from left to right. What is the product of just the length and the width? So right now we're just looking at 13 times six. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and do it over to the side. So 13 times six, six times three is 18, carry the one. Six times one is six, plus one more is seven. So I know that it is gonna be 78, and the units is using is inches, and remember we just found the area or the base, we only found two pieces of the puzzle, which means it is squared, because there's only two dimensions being found. All right, for D, multiply the product of the length and the width, which means take the, take the answer and multiply it by the height. So my answer was 78, and now I'm multiplying it by the height, which we said was eight. Okay, now what is the volume of the fish tank? So we need to solve these two to find the total volume. So I'm just gonna erase my work so I can have a little bit more room. So I'm gonna take 78 and multiply it by eight. 8 times 8 is 64, 8 times 7 is 56, plus 2 more is 62. So I know that my area is 624. But remember I found three dimensions, three parts, so I'm going to keep my units which is inches, but now that it's volume I'm putting the three up in the exponent which is cubed. So 624 inches cubed, or another way you can say it is 624 cubic inches. All right? We are going to do number two, but I'm going to zoom up on the problem here. For number two, it says Jeannie finds another fish tank in the shape of a right rectangular prism with the dimension shown. So let B represent the base area of a right rectangular prism. What equation represents the base area of the fish tank? So here I want you to use B as the base and say equal to and tell me what two dimensions in this fish tank are equal to the base, all right? For B, Write a formula to model the volume of the right rectangular prism using B, okay? So for this one, you're just gonna write a formula. You're not gonna actually put in the number. So use B in the formula to find your volume. So volume equals, and then use B as an example. For C, 
Use the formula to write an equation for the volume of the tank. Now, here's where you're adding in the numbers. So you're gonna be adding in the numbers for the equation here. Then you're actually gonna be finding the volume and multiplying all three numbers together to find the volume. All right, so go ahead and do all three of these together and go ahead and click pause here. All right, coming back to solve these problems. So for A, let B represent the base area of the right rectangular prism. What equation represents the base area of the fish tank? Okay, so I know that um, my base equals my length times my width. And he, my length right here is 12. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say B is equal to 12 as my length, and my width here is seven. So 12 times seven is gonna be my base, my length times my width. Moving down to B, it says write a formula to model the volume of a re right rectangular prism using B. Notice it doesn't say anything about the fish tank, so we're not actually talking about the specific problem, we're just looking for a general um, formula here. So write a formula to model volume. So remember, we're going to be starting with volume, but we want um, we want B to be our base. So we know that um, normally volume is length times width times height. You know, I'm actually going to write this out. So volume equals length times width times height. But in this problem, what it's looking for is my base. And if you remember up here, my base is equal to my width and my length. So if I take out my length and my width and I just write base, what I have left over is my height. So that's what it was looking for here. Volume equals base times height. All right, so moving down to C, use the formula to write an equation for the volume of the tank, okay? So now it's going back to the problem mentioning the tank. So, in this problem, you're gonna have your volume and it's gonna be equal to, your length is gonna be 12, your width is gonna be seven, and your height is gonna be nine. All right, so what I need to do is now I need to multiply. So 12 times seven, I'm gonna do my math over here to the, over to the side, so 12 times seven, Seven times two is 14, carry the one. Seven times one is seven, plus one is eight. So I know my base is 84, all right? So I could also write it separately and I could say volume equals 84 times nine. So that's my base times my height now. All right, I'm gonna erase my work over to the side so I can have a little bit more room. Now I need to take that 84 times nine to find my total volume. So 84 times nine. Four times nine is 36, carry the three. Nine times eight is 72, plus three more is 75. All right, so my volume is equal to 756. Remember my units are inches, and because I found three dimensions, three parts in volume, it is gonna be the three in the exponent reading 756 inches cubed or 756 cubic inches. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems and I will see you back for module five, lesson six.